This morning, the cause of a duplex fire in Minneapolis is under investigation. Neighbors called in the fire around 1130 last night in the 300 block of 30th Avenue North. The fire quickly spread to the second floor. It took firefighters at least 45 minutes to put it out. No one was inside when it started, but two firefighters were injured. One was hospitalized for a cardiac related issue. The other had insulation fall on his head and was checked out at the scene. Three weeks after a bicyclist was hit and left to die, Police in St. Paul have a mother and son in custody. Over the weekend, police arrested 47-year-old Abby Rose Hegner and 48-year-old Dustin Joel Hegner Royce. Uh, Hegner Royce, Dustin there, is being held on suspicion of criminal vehicular homicide. Abby, his mother, for aiding an offender. Police are saying she is the registered owner of the vehicle that hit Jose Hernandez Solano back in November. The 52-year-old who worked in the kitchen at Brasso Rotisserie was on his way home from work when he was hit. He was on life support for a week and a half before he died. Surveillance cameras captured the moments before and after the crash, and police spent the past three weeks searching for the suspect vehicle. The St. Catherine University security guard who shot himself then lied about it will learn his fate today. Sentencing is scheduled for Brent Ehlers. The story Ehlers first told police back in September put the St. Paul College campus on lockdown. The next day he said he made up a shooter out of fear that he would lose his job because he actually shot himself with a personal gun that he was not supposed to carry on campus. St. Kate's has since fired Ehlers. He pleaded guilty to falsely reporting a crime back in late October. For the misdemeanor, the maximum punishment is 90 days in jail and or a $1,000 fine. WCCO has been permitted to have a camera in the courtroom at today's sentencing. Stay with us for continuing coverage. Well, Congress is expected to vote this week on the Republican tax cuts. Republicans spent the weekend voicing support for the bill, saying... There's no downside to the plan to decrease personal taxes and shrink the corporate tax rate. This is something that's designed to be able to energize the economy. It should work. This is good news for the American people. Uh, we're going to get the economy roaring back again and uh, improve pay and uh, increase jobs. Democrats and independents like Vermont's Bernie Sanders point out that the tax breaks that benefit the middle class will expire in 2025. Because the benefits for the middle class are temporary while the, while the corporate benefits are permanent. At the end of the decade, over half of the middle class will be paying more in taxes. And this is about hardworking families that are going to see, starting in February, tax cuts. The House is expected to vote on this bill first, followed by the Senate. Republicans are likely to have enough votes to pass that measure. The bill could be on the president's desk by the end of the year. Officials at the nation's busiest airport say power has been fully restored. According to Georgia Power, a fire in an underground electrical facility caused an outage that essentially shut down Hartfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. It grounded more than a thousand flights and travelers may run into delays today as a result. Now, because of the outage, something rare happened at Chick-fil-A opened on Sunday. The chain that is famous for never opening on Sundays stepped in to feed passengers who had to stay overnight. I'm sure very welcoming for them to see. You just feel so bad for all those passengers at the airport. What a nightmare. It's the worst, been. right? Oh There's nowhere goodness. you can go, nothing you can do. And, and so eerie to see it just pitch black right. like that, too. Well, the Minnesota Vikings clinched the division. They became NFC North champs with a dominating win over the Cincinnati Bengals.